Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about, you know, when you declutter, what to do with those things. So today's topic is what to do with all the things you declutter. So I've started my organizing business um, or restarted it, should I say, as many of you all know. So I'm trying to bring more organization things to you guys, more household things, more HR things. So today is an organizational tip. So um, hold on one second, Mr. Barkley wants to go out. Okay, so when you're going through your home, decluttering, this applies to any space that you declutter and any item that you find. So you can always donate your items. You can donate it to Goodwill, Salvation Army, you know, they have the services that'll pick up stuff um, like Veterans of America, the Lupus Foundation. There are plenty out there that will come pick up your items for you and you don't have to worry about it. You can always also donate, donate to any, you know, nonprofits that you know of that may be taking donations. When you are finding stuff that's still good, but you just don't have a use for in that space, maybe you can repurpose it in another space in your home. So, you know, look at options for that. Is there another space that could use this or something else that you could do with it? You know, instead of getting rid of it, you may find another purpose for it. Um, church organizations can use items. So if you find things or schools, you know, maybe some workbooks, binders, um, you know, something, maybe the church has a nursery or um, vacation Bible school, you know, just anything like that you think that the church or school may be able to use, old laptops or whatever, check into doing that. You can always give it to a family member or a friend that may be able to use it. So I don't have kids, but say I did. That's my kid out there as you hear barking. Um, but say there were some clothes that had been gently used or some shoes that just didn't fit right. Give it to a family member or friend that may, you know, appreciate it or may need it. Or say you have a set of pots or something that you never use, but your friend just moved into a new apartment and may need some pots. So, you know, things like that. Something that you can give that's still worth something and good to somebody else. As far as like clothes donations, um, I was just thinking there are a lot of like women's shelters or dress for success. You could donate your clothes to that. Um, gentlemen's, gentlemen have um, same type thing, shelters for men, um, things that get them ready for work uh, or, you know, reacclimate them back into society. Um, if they've been in prison, you know, men or women, not you know, either way, there are programs that they're looking for business clothes or, you know, dresses and things like that for them. You can always give to homeless shelters and um, family shelters, you know, kids, whole family needs stuff too. So check into those options. You can always do consignment. That's one of my favorites. Um, but you have to check with the consignment stores to see. They take, normally most of them take things seasonally and there are only certain items that they accept. So check into that. But if they're in good condition, what is it, what's the word? If it's one man's trash, it's another man's treasure. Um, again, thrift or antique shop. So I'm not an antique person, but I know people that are. So if you have a lot of antiques that are probably worth something, look into taking them to antique shops. You could always, another one of my favorites, sell on Facebook Market, Poshmark, Let It, Let it Go, um, what else, on Nextdoor. I've had um, success selling the, on places like that. So look at selling it on social media. Toys, so if you have kids, you know, there are hospitals. Again, these are good toys that your kids have not torn to pieces or, you know, every Christmas they're getting a new toy and they play for it one day and then they don't play with it again. Things of that nature. So hospitals may need them, you know, children's hospitals, any kind of child welfare agencies, because um, they have um, rooms that the kids use to meet with their family members and stuff. And a lot of times they have toys and videos and books and stuff in there. So look for that, you know, and it's not just, like I said, you have cartoons and movies and stuff. 
all that counts. You know, kids need that, kids love that. Daycare centers, um, you know, anywhere that children, again, children, uh, church nurseries, anywhere where children are, make sure that they're safe, toys, they're clean toys or books or videos, okay? You can always shred or recycle. So I always tell my clients that, you know, with especially important documents, shred it. And if you live in a community that recycles, make sure you recycle these plastics and papers and cardboards and all that. And you can always have a yard sale. I've done that before. Uh, but again, make sure the items are in good condition and someone would want it. You can also, with your pet toys, and I shared this on Instagram a few months ago, Barkley has a lot of pet toys. Like he'll get toys for Christmas, his gotcha day, his birthday, and but he always hones in a one or two that he plays with and the rest he's kind of like, Psh, I'm over it. So I donated those items to the local animal shelter. Um, Cause those doggies in there, they don't get the love that they need um, while they're waiting for their forever homes sometimes. So I like to have toys for them to play with while they're waiting for their forever home. Also the clothes, like he has a couple of uh, hoodies and stuff that I've donated. Um, and you, I, I sell those too. A lot of people love to buy stuff for their pets. So you can sell those on Facebook market, but I've also donated his crate. Like when I got him, we came up from North Carolina. So I had to have a crate for him to travel in. So I had him a little puppy crate. He doesn't need that anymore. So I took that and donated it to the shelter and they were glad to have that. Um, and lastly, discard it, dispose of it, throw it in the trash. So I've recently cleaned out my storage closet and I had old computer modems, um, monitors. So I mentioned again, this on social media. So if you follow me, you probably saw my post or store. I can't remember what I did, but I looked um, online and found places in my county that take, you know, old items, um, electronics. I wanted to donate it to, um, you know, like somewhere that could use it, but, I couldn't find one, you know, that was accepting stuff right now. So my county dump has a section just for electronics. It was like an electronics graveyard when I pulled up there, y'all. They had flat screens, those old box TVs, like they had a bin full of laptops. And yeah, so look, look for those options. So just to run it down really quickly, I didn't number them, but I will do so now. Number one. Donate to Goodwill, Salvation Army, nonprofits, etc. Two, try to repurpose them. I'm looking at my list. Y'all know I got a list. Three, look at organizations such as churches or schools that you can donate to. Four, donate your books or other media to libraries or schools. Five, give to family members or friends that may have use for it. Six, donate those clothes, shoes, etc., to shelters for women, families, men, any, you know, job ready groups, all that stuff. Six, I think I'm on six, consignment shops. Seven, thrift or antique shops. Eight, sell on Facebook Market, Poshmark, etc. Nine. <laughs> Uh, give the toys to hospitals, child welfare agencies, daycares, um, toys, videos, books for kids, etc. cetera. Uh, tricycles, bicycles, that kind of stuff. Shred or recycle, that's number nine. 10, yard sales. 11, pet toys, go to you know animal shelters or rescues. And what is this, 11 or 12? Discard or dispose. I hope my numbers weren't off, but you guys got it. So if you have anything, suggestions that I have missed that some of, and you know, the other viewers of this video may, um, you know, want to know, please put it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please like and share, tell a friend, and I will see you in the next vlog, guys. Take care. Bye.